Zephyr 18, Getty Images If you are looking to to pull cash from your 401k plan or traditional IRA without getting hit with a penalty, the IRS will allow you to do it. Generally, taking an early withdrawal from a qualified retirement account, that is, cashing out either of those accounts before age 59 and a half, results in a 10% penalty. In addition, you'll also need to pay income taxes on the distribution itself. However, not all cash outs are the same. The IRS has defined a narrow set of circumstances in which it will waive the 10% penalty and permit you to take the early withdrawal. One of the lesser-known circumstances includes receiving a series of equal payments from your individual retirement account or your 401k, which is known in tax circles as a 72t distribution. Beware! Just because the IRS will allow this penalty-free cash out doesn't mean you should take it. The first overriding factor is never do it, said Ed Slot. CPA and founder of Ed Slot & Co. You will have less money for retirement. It's the last resort unless you need it. Here's what you need to know about pulling a series of payments from your retirement account. It's complicated St. Agar Carlson, E plus Getty Images generally. If you're drawing down money from your IRA, you need to figure out the amount of payments you receive based on your age and life expectancy. Once you start receiving the payments, you need to commit to taking at least one payment a year for five years, or until you reach 59 and a half, whichever is longer. After the longer period of time is over, you can change your payment amount or stop the withdrawals. The rules are slightly different for drawing down from a 401k. In this case, you have to separate from service during or after the year you turn 55 in order to start taking payments. Once you start, you must keep going. You're stuck for at least five years. Lisa Featherngill, CPA Here's where things can get messy. If you make changes to your payments or if you go into the account to take an additional withdrawal while receiving the distributions, you'll face the 10% penalty retroactively for payments received, plus interest even rolling a 401k into the IRA from which you're taking these payments can break your schedule and subject you to penalties and interest, Slot said. Once you start, you must keep going, said Lisa Featherngill, a CPA and member of the American Institute of CPAs Personal Financial Planning Executive Committee. You're stuck for at least five years. No room for error v. Stock LLC. Getty Images It's this lack of flexibility, along with the fact that you're using retirement dollars, that makes CPAs reluctant to recommend the 72t distribution. What if one day your roof needs to be replaced or you have an emergency medical expense? Ask Jeffrey Levine. CPA and Director of Financial Planning at Blueprint Wealth Alliance. You'd have no choice but to break your payment schedule. Go into the account and have a 10% penalty on everything you received prior to 59 and a half. He said, in a cash crunch, an emergency fund would be the best source of money. Levine said, a home equity line of credit or even a 401k loan, provided you can pay it back are preferable to taking equal payments from your retirement account. He said, alternative sources while there are 72 t calculators available online to help you determine your payment schedule. You should work with a professional before you proceed. The rules are very specific and detailed. Featherngill said, work with a CPA before you do it. There might be other ways to use your retirement savings. If you absolutely have to, that might not be so rigid and punitive. For instance, depending on whether your 401k allows it, generally you may borrow up to 50% of your vested account balance or $50,000. Whichever is the lesser, you have five years to repay the loan. In comparison, simply withdrawing the money from your 401k will result in a 20% withholding to cover your income taxes. 
plus a 10% penalty if you're under 59 and a half. Meanwhile, a hardship withdrawal from your account will be included in your gross income and may be subject to more taxes, but it won't be repaid to your plan. That means you've lowered your account balance permanently. Finally, depending the circumstances of your emergency, the IRS may waive the 10% penalty for an early withdrawal from your IRA or 401. K. And you won't have to take a set schedule of payments. Unreimbursed medical expenses that exceed 7.5% of adjusted gross income. 10% if you're under 65. Total and permanent disability are among the situations that qualify. There may be options that you aren't considering, said Featherngill. Just remember that the money coming out of the plan, unless it's a loan, is subject to income tax. More from personal finance retirement. 529 accounts would be expanded under new GOP tax plan. These surprise college costs could leave you at least $3,000 short this year. More than 4 out of 10 workers aren't taking this key step to keep 401k fees in check.